How are you? I hope you are always healthy and given ease in doing something. In the nutshell, traveling is a simple math formula. From point A, move to point B. That's it. Simple. But in reality, traveling as simple as that without proper planning and preparation will turn into the worst experience in your life. Those are facts, not meant to scare you. In this video, I'm gonna help you how to start and prepare for a travel. Listen to the end and don't skip it, because this is a once in a lifetime informational video that you will apply throughout your life, so that you will receive 100% of this useful information. If you find this video useful, please subscribe to our channel so that this channel can grow and also so that we are enthusiastic about sharing other useful information. The beginning. Anything in your life, it all started in one morning when the rooster's yelling, trying to woke you up from sleep. And of course, from a thought and an imagination, I mean, your brain. All you need just think. Decide where to go and what kind of trip you want. Ask yourself what you'd like to get out of your time away. If you need a break from your hectic schedule, consider planning a relaxing beach vacation. If you are going crazy with boredom, look into an adventure vacation whitewater rafting, zip lining, or rock climbing. Become one with nature by visiting a national park, or gain new perspective by visiting a country halfway across the globe. Many travel websites will include inspiration and ideas for different types of trips, family, ecotourism, road trips, and more. Ask friends and family about places they've been. They may have some great recommendations and insights on what to do, where to stay, and what to eat. Determine how much money you can afford to spend on the trip. You don't need to be rich to travel, but knowing how much money you have available will likely shape all other aspects of your trip. If things are tight, you may decide to delay your trip until you can save more money. Where you go, how you get there, where you stay may all rely on how much you have to spend. Remember that in addition to any travel expenses, you still have to pay rent and bills at home. Make sure you have enough to cover these essentials before you spend money traveling. Be savvy and cut out small, unnecessary purchases where you can. Avoiding ATM fees and skipping the $4 lattes are all quick, easy changes you can make to save extra cash for traveling. Decide when to leave. Find out the high, low, and shoulder season for tourists at your destination by looking at their tourist bureau online. When you travel may also impact the cost of your ticket. If you're not choosy about dates, you can plan your trip around the lowest fares. High season is when there are the biggest crowds, the best weather, attractions selling out, and the highest prices. Low season usually means great deals, fewer tourists, the possibility of terrible weather, and the risk of some attractions being closed. You may also find that locals are a little more welcoming. Shoulder season is considered the best time to travel. You get the best of both worlds. You will miss the crowds, snag the good deals, and still have good weather. Book right before or right after high season to take advantage of shoulder season. Determine how long you will be traveling. If you are working, check how much vacation time you have saved up. Check your calendar for any important dates that might conflict with your travel plans you might need to push your trip back a few days so you don't miss your rooster fifth birthday. Start setting a budget. Do your best to estimate how much your entire trip will cost. Factor in travel expenses like plane or train tickets, gasoline if you're driving, hotels or hostels, travel insurance, passport or visa fees transportation at your destination like taxis, buses, car rental, the average cost of a meal or set the total amount you are allowed to spend on food each day. Be sure you leave yourself some cash to splurge on something special and something extra for emergencies. Research the cost of the activities that interest you. The more accurate you can be with costs, the better you can plan your trip. Many cities offer some kind of tourism pass, which, for a flat fee, grants free or discounted entry into popular attractions like museums, tours, and historical sites. If your plans exceed your budget, you may need to make a few sacrifices. Stay at a hostel instead of a hotel or skip the four-star restaurant. Being flexible will make it easier to stick to your budget. Don't forget to look up the money conversion rate if you're going abroad and work that into your budget. To stay within your budget, take advantage of available deals and promo codes when planning your flight and hotel. Book your travel tickets in advance. 
There are dozens of websites you can use to search for reasonable flights all over the world. Take the time to check multiple booking search engines, as they don't always feature the same deals. Try the airline's direct websites. If you're not flying, you can book train and bus travel online. Be sure you have plenty of time to switch planes if you have a layover in another city. Studies have shown the best time to buy a ticket for a domestic flight is between 100 up to 50 days or 3.3 up to 1.5 months before to your departure date. Tickets for international flights are usually lowest between 171 up to 50 days or 5 or 1.5 months before travel. If you're not sure how you want to get to your destination, a website like Rome 2 Rio will give you estimated cost and travel times for just about every mode of transportation. Train travel is big in Europe, and websites like Seat61 can help you plan a route and look for deals. Book your accommodation in advance. From hostels to luxury hotels, tree houses, campgrounds, and private apartment rentals, there are tons of options when it comes to deciding where to stay. Consider how you plan to use your accommodations. If you want to meet other travelers and don't mind sharing a bathroom, a hostel may be a good choice. Create your itinerary. If you plan to visit multiple cities on your trip, try to determine how many days you will spend at each location. Decide which attractions are priorities and find out if you need tickets in advance. Don't be too strict, though. If you're stressing out because you're 15 minutes behind your itinerary schedule, you and your travel companions aren't going to have a very good time. Researching the transportation system will make it easier to plan and budget your time. Learn how the metro works before you visit Paris, or find out which train lines will take you to Pisa from Florence and how long the trip will take. Add the addresses and contact numbers of any hotels, car rental agencies, so you have them in one place and can reference them quickly. Share your itinerary with your family, and include all your travel information. It's important someone knows where you are and how to reach you in case of an emergency. Email your itinerary to yourself so it's easily accessible. Make a packing list. Check the average weather at your destination for the time of year you are traveling. Many blogs and travel websites have compiled suggested packing lists, so if you search, what to pack for a week in Bali, you should find lots of good recommendations. Pack light. Pick basic clothes that coordinate so you can mix and match over the course of your trip. If you are flying, remember the safety restrictions, including the 3-1-1 rule. Each passenger can have one one-gallon bag of liquids, gels, or creams, each in a 3.4 ounces container. Most drug stores sell travel-sized shampoos and moisturizers you can pack. Make sure you pack any medications you take and that you have enough for your entire trip, plus a little extra. Other must-haves. A light rain jacket, a backup battery for your phone or other electronics, something to read or pass the time on flights and bus rides. Consider the weather. It might be snowing outside, raining, windy, or it might be as hot as the desert sun. Well, it all depends on the weather, and so the type of weather is the type of weather activity you'll be doing. Roll your clothes up when packing. Don't fold your clothes roll them up. You'll have tons more space in your bag. To make things even easier, roll up each outfit into one big roll. That way, you can grab the whole thing at once, no search required. Create your passport. First things first, you no. aren't going abroad anywhere if you don't have a valid passport. If you are applying for a new passport, you must submit your paperwork in person at a passport agency or approved facility, usually a post office and so near by appointment only. Save yourself a lot of stress and get your passport in order before you do anything else. It is possible to expedite the process and get your passport sooner than 4 to 6 weeks even as quickly as 24 hours in an emergency but you will have to pay an extra fee. If you are renewing your passport, you can skip the lines and submit by mail. When you receive your passport, scan a copy and email it to yourself. You may also want to make a photocopy and keep it in your suitcase. These copies will be very helpful if your passport is lost or stolen while you're out of the country. Keep your passport somewhere safe while you are traveling. A jacket with an inside pocket or a money belt that goes under your shirt can keep you from losing your passport or having it stolen. Find out if you need a visa. Some countries visitors to obtain a travel visa to enter the country. 
As with your passport, you should apply well in advance, as it could take days or weeks to process. You may need to arrange your hotel accommodations before applying for a visa and be asked to present the address and contact information when you apply. Get vaccinated. Tell your doctor where you are going and discuss which vaccines you will need. Some countries require proof of certain vaccinations to enter the country. Your doctor can give you an international certificate of vaccination, or yellow card, to provide as proof of inoculation. Vaccines can take several weeks to start working, or you may need multiple doses, so don't wait until the last minute. See your doctor four to six weeks before travel. You can also visit a travel clinic for vaccines. The staff specializes in travel medicine and will be well versed in what precautions you should take while abroad. Learn the language. Even a few key phrases like, hello, thank you, excuse me, where is the bathroom, can go a long way. Often people will be more willing to help you if you make an effort to speak their language. English is common as a second language in many countries, but you should never assume everyone will be fluent. Research the customs of the country you are visiting. Traveling somewhere unfamiliar can make you vulnerable, and the last thing you want to do is inadvertently offend the locals. Things that are perfectly acceptable at home may be frowned upon in your host country. Buy a travel guide or check out the forum on a travel website to get tips. Pay attention to things like how locals typically dress, some countries are more modest than others and you may get unwanted attention by showing skin, if tipping is expected, and how much, personal space, is normal, you may find people stand and talk much closer than you're used to. Check for travel warnings or alerts for the country you plan to visit. You may learn that certain areas are experiencing conflict or are considered unsafe to visit and decide to alter your plans. Notify your bank or credit card company you will be traveling abroad. If your account shows sudden activity in another country, your card may be flagged for fraud. A quick phone call will keep your card from being declined or, in some cases, lost to an ATM machine that won't give it back. Ask your bank if they have any international partners or branches you can visit. The fees for ATM withdrawals in foreign countries are fairly high and can add up quickly. Using your ATM card for withdrawals will almost always get you the best exchange rate. Just watch for those fees. That's all I know about preparing for a trip or vacation. Thanks for watching. For the next video, I will share information on how to prepare for a family vacation, especially for those of you who have toddlers and children under 12 years. Don't forget to subscribe, so you don't miss the next informational videos.